Hey guys, we are on the way to Georgia finally. Had to get home, feed the cows, check everybody, make sure everything was good. Uh, do some business stuff. Be caught back up with that. So we're gone two weeks. Um, we're heading up to our family's, uh, family friend's farm here. I grew up hunting up here. Uh, probably shot my second deer I ever shot up here. So uh, Taylor had to stay home. She's going to run the empire while I get to go play. Maybe next time. So. We already got our stands up, luckily. They've been up for 10 years. So I got these deer figured out. So hopefully uh, we'll have a little better luck than we did in Kansas while we're out there. So in Illinois. Um, We're going to do our flat shirt. Well, after two, three more hunts of not seeing anything, uh, changing states, still not seeing anything, finally had movement this morning. Saw a decent buck off in the distance, but uh, it's so thick down here. If they're moving and they don't stop, you're not going to get a shot. Uh, and of course, had a doe come in at 20 yards, maybe, and uh, she was just too small, so I didn't shoot her. But I figured the mom has got to be around somewhere, but I only have two more hunts left this year, planned anyway. So if I don't get anything those next two, it'll be the first year I've never shot anything. So I think it's the cameras jinxing me, maybe. It's the first year I've had this thing to film with, and it's been the worst deer movement we've ever seen. So. That one, like I said, that we, was out here earlier, she was just too small. I'm not going to shoot her just because I haven't shot anything. I'll give her another year to get a little bigger. Maybe I can fill the freezer or something. A little more size to it, so. But I'm fixing to wrap it up. We'll come back here again the next two, two or three hunts, two hunts. We'll see if we can't get it done. Last minute.
just given up on it, but he's not the biggest, but uh, he came right directly towards me. And down here, it's so tough to get a shot. I figured if he's going to give it to me, I'll fill the freezer with him, so we'll see. Um, he actually ran a good ways. I didn't see him fall. Usually, with this gun, they don't go very far, but um, you just never know. He's near tough, so. Let's see. All right, let me get everything packed up here. Go check and see if we got anything. <laughs> Check. I checked the footage and it looked like a pretty good hit. He, uh, it was just a little far back. You can't see on the video. It looks like he's in the wide open, but I had to shoot through like a little V, so I couldn't get right behind the shoulder, but uh, it looked pretty good. So we're gonna get over here and check for blood. I'll show you our setup here though. This is blind, obviously. So we got it brushed in pretty good. There's a lot of deadfall here after the storms when Irma came through. So you see I'm sitting right up here against this big thing. Kind of cool when I set this up. I didn't notice it, but it's an old liner stand. Probably been there for years. But it goes right out there. You can see I'm kind of on this. Alright, that's where I was. Get right out of here. Stand took off. All right, I'm gonna head back to the house, get changed, get all this stuff back, and then uh, that'll give him a little more time to sit if it wasn't a great shot. And um, we'll see if we can find him. Yeah, all right, we just got back, we're blood trailing. Take you guys along, show you. We let him sit for hours. Uh, got a little bit right there on the stump. He's running this way. Alright guys, we finally found him. He ran probably, yeah, he actually ran about 100 yards. He stopped bleeding. About 50 yards that way, and we found specks, and we just happened to look up, and there he was. So, um, he's not the biggest deer, but for around here in South Georgia, this is this is about an average deer. They've got this weird thing where they their brow tines kind of you know don't grow much, and they crab claw, so he kind of quit. So you can see he's only three on this side, and he's actually four over there. But it's probably as good as this deer would have got. So, but I was just excited to shoot him as I was a 27 pointer. So now all the hard work begins. We gotta drag him out, so. Mm -hmm. 